I'd like to talk about the, uh, our activity and the uh, activity and the results of the sketch, uh, which is a project post K priority issue four, uh, titled uh, uh, titled Advancement of Meteorological and the Global Environment Predictions Utilizing the Observational Big Data. So. As you know well, oh, the severe weather in Japan is uh, occurred every year. So that is a very important thing to predict uh, accurate forecast and including the occurrence uh, probability should be provided by the early as as possible. And uh, namely, the accurate forecast with the long leading time are very required. So we'd like to do uh, the uh, progress uh, to prediction and uh, this, uh, for the, these severe weather. This project is organized the four theme. Uh, just the uh, first one is the sub theme A, is the innovative numerical weather predictions and advanced weather disaster prevention based on the damage level estimations. So uh, today is I talk about the innovation numerical weather predictions. And uh, second term is a seamless prediction of the weather and the climate, which is uh, more longer, uh, longer and uh, more uh, wider uh, prediction in the, uh, with a really a high resolution uh, global model. And the third thing is the advancement of the model systems for the comprehensive world environment watch. So that means it's a chemical process is included in this model and predict with a chemical processes in the, uh, such as 2.5, uh, something like that. And the uh, fourth uh, theme is a uh, uh, it's a co-design of the computer system and applications for the, this uh, computation. And uh, uh, I'd like to show you the, uh, some result uh, from the sub issue A, uh, which is uh, pro, uh, promoted by the uh, Dr. Uh, Hiro, Hi, Hiromu Seko. So uh, we are now uh, using, using the Himawari 8. It's uh, uh, laid scan data and brightness temperature SST. It's a uh, uh, very uh, large number of the data from the satellite. And the uh, second one is the radar data and dense surface data. So uh, first one is a first result from the uh, big data Himawari, from the Hirama Himawari 8, and uh, uh, big uh, uh, progress of the uh, prediction will be shown. And uh, Himawari 8 is well known as the horizontal resolution uh, finally, finally, from previous Himawari 7, and here, here it is from one kilometer uh, to the uh, one, 0 0.5 to one kilometers. And the horizontal resolution is uh, more fine, finer. And the uh, temporal resolution is uh, uh, more uh, dense, and uh, Himawari 8 is uh, around the uh, uh, Japan area, it's uh, every, uh, observed every uh, 2.5 minutes. And the observational band it's a more wider uh, compared with the uh, Himawari uh, 7 previous satellite. And uh, this uh, data is uh, so big uh, data, and uh, um, by using the, this big data, uh, it's uh, very useful to predict uh, accuracy. And atmospheric motion vector, uh, this one here, it's Himawari 8 who provides uh, this data, this data here, every 10 minutes. And uh, around the uh, Japan area, it's, uh, you, we can use the more uh, fine data every uh, 2.5 minutes. And uh, this data is very useful to predict pro uh, progress of the predictions. So for example, or the forecast result uh, to the, uh, the heavy rain in 19, uh, 19 
uh, 2016. And here is the observational data. And here is the forecasting result with the red scan AM, uh, AM vectors. And when rapid scan and MMV data was not used, the position of the rain band was reproduced on the western area, western side of the observation compared with the observational data. And but the rapid scan AM vectors used, the position is more comparable and more fine and compared with the observational data. In addition, in a typhoon, uh, Lin Lion Rock is also the, uh, uh, also the pre uh, progress uh, of the uh, prediction in here by using the uh, Himawari data in the SSCs. Here is uh, uh, intensive of all the ensemble members from uh, these uh, terms. And uh, here is, uh, this one is uh, uh, more uh, best, best uh, result from the prediction is by using the uh, Himawari 8 uh, dense data. So, and the uh, impact of the rapid scan AMV data is uh, uh, typhoon and tracking is more uh, predict uh, compared with the uh, uh, previous data. So, we can conclude uh, the impact of the rapid scan AMV data is and uh, 1D mixing model of the SST of the ocean is uh, very important things to predict accuracies. And then this, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, pre uh, precise analysis uh, by using the, uh, these data is uh, done by the Honda Takumi in the weekend. So uh, this uh, uh, precise uh, result uh, will be shown in poster session, and please visit here, there. And uh, by using radar data and dense surface data, uh, we, I, uh, we, <laughs> we can uh, predict of the tornado and the local heavy rainbow fall. And that one is uh, uh, poor, poor uh, <coughs> domestic radar uh, observational data and dense surface data, here it is. And uh, a simulation is used for this data and uh, uh, computation on case. And the tornado-like vorticity is forecasted. And the uh, uh, event is an uh, uh, example event of the tornado in uh, uh, 2012. And uh, here uh, is uh, Ibarak Prefecture. It's a very severe tornado is uh, 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 what's uh, occurred in, uh, uh, in these areas. And the forecasting the vortex through the simulation and the polarinistic radar and the surface observations. Here is a uh, uh, result of the uh, simulations on K, and you can see is uh, some here uh, is a uh, tornadoes uh, by using the uh, big data uh, simulations. So this one is a very uh, one of the uh, very uh, first step uh, of the simulation on the uh, for, for the target of the post K. But the very important things to uh, to can get the, this uh, phenomena of the tornadoes by using both radar and the surface data uh, assimilated it by uh, the result here and the forecast of the path and strength of the vortex is improved compared with the uh, previous uh, result and. Uh, we uh, move to the more, uh, the longer, and the more wider uh, prediction of the weather and the climate. For example, uh, the science target of this uh, project and theme is uh, like this, and by using the NICAM. 
So first of all, the integration time, AMIP tries 30 years high resolution uh, uh, computation and uh, or the uh, more really uh, fine resolution uh, for, uh, by to, to predict uh, the present of the typhoon like this or the uh, Nikam and Coco. Coco means the uh, ocean, uh, oceanic model with a cupboard and a very with a high resolution. And the uh, fourth one is uh, ensemble new technique is uh, introduced in this uh, project. The, this one is uh, a result of the future ch change of the tropical cyclone like this. And the number on track is that of 10 years, so tropical uh, cyclone, and the present is the future convection here. And uh, this uh, huge computation is, can be done on only case. And the uh, tropical uh, cyclone frequency is uh, uh, searched in this project. And this uh, NICAM simulation shows the TC number uh, uh, tropical cyclone number reduced over the all, all, almost all the basins except for the Central Pacific. And uh, this number is uh, reduced uh, for the, in the uh, future, uh, future climate. And the uh, tropical cyclone strength changes is, uh, was shown in this, in this project theme. And the uh, maximum wind speed is uh, 44, uh, 64 percent increase, increase, and the sea level pressure 0.9 percent intensity, and the increase of size is a comparison of the uh, same categories like this. So, this uh, longer and uh, more wider uh, prediction is a very important thing to improve the more fine and the more short uh, uh, prediction, like a, like a uh, sub, -tel, sub -tel, the A's. So that is uh, uh, contribution, uh, each other is a very important thing to, um, to move to uh, predict the predictions. And uh, in addition, in the ensemble-based data simulation is produced, uh, developed in this project, and uh, this is uh, uh, model simulation and data simulation is exchanging as a very new uh, ensemble and data simulation um, uh, systems is uh, developed here. And uh, precision, precision aware computing is uh, uh, considered about the, uh, this uh, project uh, theme and the single precision is uh, considered uh, to make the more higher, uh, higher speed uh, computation in to, uh, to make the uh, very uh, amount of, of the uh, uh, data and the computations. And the third one is uh, uh, advancement of the model system for the comprehensive uh, world environment watches um, that means the uh, chemical process in the atmosphere uh, should be considered to predict the environment, uh, world environment or the world climate. So, and uh, this theme, uh, the global uh, goal is uh, based on the application features developed on, on the, in other sub-issues. So uh, this uh, project and theme is changing of the tool or the data uh, uh, to cooperate with the, uh, other uh, issues. And the data simulation system for the global environment and big data will be uh, developed. And uh, here is uh, observational data and uh, uh, forecast here. And uh, combine this here and uh, uh, new um, uh, analytic uh, distribution is developed and the get uh, it is a very important thing to promote uh, the, this uh, this uh, issues so as uh, I'd like to show you the uh, two main results from the from, the, from these themes 
And the one is the development of the state of the art uh, chemical uh, transport, transportation model is uh, has been developed in this project. And here is a satellite data, and here is a pre bears and a global climate model. And this one is uh, uh, not compared with uh, uh, satellite data, but the very fine state of the art chemical uh, uh, model is uh, represent of the satellite uh, observational data compared and uh, very comparable uh, to uh, the observational data. So this one is uh, shows the uh, prediction of the potential or potential data, and uh, we'd like to the, uh, move uh, to the further steps uh, by using the, this uh, state-of-the-art chemical model. And the uh, second one is the evaluation of the small-scale transport processes using passive tracers. So you can see that uh, this uh, Japanese, uh, Japan area is a very complex system of the weather. And uh, here is uh, some of the uh, turbulence. Uh, Eddy is a very important thing uh, to predict of the, some kind of the, this peak of the chemical processes. And uh, here is, uh, is a very important, very difficult and important to predict of the chemical uh, uh, tracers. And uh, this one is, uh, this uh, model is can present, uh, represent of the, this peak. And so that is a very important, uh, very uh, progress of these uh, areas. And in the future, as uh, evaluation of the metal on chemical in, in the reactive processes uh, introduced this uh, the theme, and the near future is a more uh, complex uh, prediction is will be that uh, will be pre, uh, will be done. So, and uh, core design is uh, uh, very uh, uh, attractive. Uh, the theme uh, in this project, uh, the computer system for the computer system and applications. Uh, this team is the research team is uh, uh, cooperated with uh, RICAM and Fujitsu and Jamstack to uh, target application to uh, to make the uh, target uh, target prediction pre, pre application of the NICAM and LETKF. And uh, this, uh, this result is a lot of uh, things to do uh, to make the uh, post K. And uh, in this team, is uh, optimization of the da data assimilation workflow is uh, also the considered to make the more uh, fine or the high speed computation is done as a very important things to do that this to do uh, to make the progress in this uh, program and uh, uh, this uh, year is the first, uh, final year to this uh, of, the, of this uh, the project in a theme so we'd like to make up and lap up and uh, to prepare the uh, post-K activities. That's all, thank you.